M0FXB. Welcome to my channel. So here we are. We've got uh, WFU on the right connected wirelessly to my ICOM 705. And on the left, we've got my ICOM 7300 using RSBA1. So I thought that this is quite a good comparison. So there's the two scopes next to each other. Let's turn this down a bit. So we're getting audio from both. Um, the 705 is currently on uh, my my reflect so my uh, hotspot using. We'll get it in DR mode. So that's what it looks like on the scope. I think it looks very nice. Obviously, the difference is that this, the RS software is is you know it's quite expensive. It can be over a hundred pound. Uh, to buy this. Now, normally I would have them side by side like that. And um, you can completely control the radio. You can't see the radios, but I can change the frequency on the RS. I can see the frequency changing on my 7300. I can change bands modes. I've got memory channels. The other thing I can do, I've, I can get a server. You know, I can connect all over the world to it. Uh, and, this, and I can do it wirelessly. So that's the RSBA1. Now, I don't really know much about the WF view, uh, waterfall view, I think it stands for, but it definitely works, and um, it's all connected. I'll show you my settings for WF view. It's, it's done wirelessly, so we've got the radio in access mode. The radio is still receiving, you know, um, all the GPS, all that kind of stuff, it's all coming through as normal. But the front of the radio says WLAN, WLAN. So uh, I will do a bit of video and chuck that on YouTube as well. Let me think now, settings. So I had to download a virtual port, a virtual serial lead to get it working. But it wasn't too bad. And once I chucked in the right IP address, which is in when the radio is in access mode, which I'll show you in a, in a separate bit of video, it all connected wirelessly. And then, because I couldn't do have two connected wirelessly, because basically when you connect to the 705 wirelessly, you have to actually connect to it, to the Wi-Fi in the radio, which, which has no internet. Um, and it affects the settings, so I couldn't get it to work, both of them wirelessly, the 7300 and the 705. So I managed to get it working with one on a cable and one not. So see what you think about the scopes. You know, that's the comparison. I can roll up the RF gain a bit. I mean, you can change the scope, of course, and make it look different. Um, I don't very often change the setting. So there's a setter here. So see if we can speed it up a bit. Find it at fast. Oh, it's already on fast. So, okay. Well, that's okay. Fixed edges, so... And then we can uh, change bands if we want, go to 70, get it on LSB, roll back the squelch a bit. Well, not the squelch, the RF gain. We can even turn the volume up and the squelch. Watch. If I, there's the squelch. It's not letting me do the volume, which is a bit weird, but anyway, it normally does. So I shall turn it up. So in the distance, you'll hear the squelch on the 7300. Let's roll back the RF game. We can change the power. Uh, we can change the frequency. It's pretty good. With the WF view, let's get that here with the scope side by side. Like so. WF view. Let's see if we can get it a bit bigger. Let's get it on an active channel. So we'll go back into VFO mode. See if I can get a normal FM channel. There's an FM channel. Can't get a HF. I've got a HF antenna on it at the moment. Got WR there. Bit scratchy because it's on a rubber duck. Right, so let's have a look if we can do the RF gain on this. Now, I know we can select bands. We can type in a frequency and there's settings here. And then we can view, we can change the color of the view if we want. A few selections here, there's one there. It's a nice red one somewhere. 
Now you leave it there. We can change the spectrum fixed or scroll. We can change modes. We can change the step when we tune. We can tune using the mouse if we want, and the you know the frequency on the radio is moving. Um, so I think both scopes are nice. They're just diff different. Different. You can do the preamp. You can transmit. Yeah, 705's gone into transmit. I just can't find the RF. Is that it? RIT. Yeah, I can see RIT and frequency lock. I just can't at the moment see the RF game, but I'm sure there's one there. I just can't see it because I'm new to this. You got, ah, here it is. You've got these sliders, look. See these sliders? RF, volume, it's going up and down. It's pretty cool. Squelch, TX, the land, the reflect, reflect spectrum level. So, that, yeah, you can knock back the thing. You can turn on the tuner. You can select your shifts. Well, I think it's pretty good. Hats off to uh, WFU team. A bit noisy here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get get a bit of video on my phone. I know it won't be as the same, but at least you'll be able to see the radios. So for now, 7-3. And um, let's get my phone on the recording. And then we can um, show you that as well. 7-3, all the best.